Stay good to be on Amaga children. You are welcome for online class at Kalagwa. Class 11, this is your uh, unit uh, 2 supplement reader. Let us see what it is. Yeah, you can see a shot in the dark. It is an idiom. No idiom and phrases. So, idiom means it will be just giving you when you just separating it will give some other meaning and if it is an idiom it will be giving a meaning. What I mean by a shot in the dark? So, it is an idiom. It means a guess that has a small chance of being right. So, you will be guessing you no know, children. Sometimes you will be guessing and what you are guessing sometimes it will be right and small chance of being right. It is a very small chance of being right. So, you understand the supplementary reader, somebody is guessing something and it is not correctly guessed and that is the caption they are given and the author name is Saki. Ok children, we will uh, know both the uh, author. H. H. Munro was remembered by his pen name Saki. So, H. H. Munro. Munro is a person and with a pen name called Saki, he had wrote many novels, short stories and uh, prose poem like that. He is a good writer. Munro is considered as a master of a short story. He was well known and is a mastery over short stories. He used the fine narrative style. So, his narrative style was very fine and everybody will be having a last twist in the story. So, most of his uh, stories, short stories will be having a twist in the end. He was one of the wittiest and funniest writer of short fictions. He was a good uh, short story writer and his stories will be having funniest and wittiest things. And here this lesson also is one like that. And you know that the topic uh, correctly chooses for the uh, lesson, it is apt uh, topic because here yeah, a person guesses wrongly but when he was guessing he thinks that he was right. At the end of the story, he come to know that he was not the good guesser. So, his guessing was wrong. So, here there were characters called Philip Slitherby, Mrs. Salpen Jago, Britty and Claro Pipple Casey. Who is Philip Slitherby? A man who aspires to become a politician. So, he is a story hero and here Philip Slitherby guesses something but he finds that at the end of the story what he guessed was not right. So, what was his guessing children? You are understand what is, was his guessing? His guessing is nothing but I just tell the story of uh, in a short so that you can understand the lesson very clearly. Philip's leather by train journey. So, here he was just going to meet Mrs. Sal Penjago. Sal Penjago was the mother of Betty and Betty was also one of the traveler in the train and he talks the truth to uh, Slitherby but he is thinking that he is cheating him because the way uh, the young fellow hacks in the train tells him that he is, uh, guess was right that he is a great cheater but actually he is not like that, he want of money, he forgotten the money in the room so he is asking some money and he sees that uh, he is going to meet uh, Solp and Jago and he was his son and he will be after his holiday, he will be, weekend is over, he will be there and at the right time he will be meeting and he will be uh, just returning the amount. But here Slitherby thinks that Betty was lying to him and so he want to teach a lesson and he says that his guest was right and this fellow was knowing something and he was just want to cheat. Actually, Betty was telling the truth to him and this was not accepted by uh, Philip Slitherby. And at last, when the home, when he was at Salp and Jago's house, Betty comes, then he understood that what he was telling is true. He was talking about the stamp. We will be having a stamp. He is talking that my mother was using one and I will be using both. So, he was telling. So, this all was like a story to him. And he is just cheating him for uh, getting some money. So, that was in the mind of the 
slither by so he thought that the youngster the young boy, person was betty was cheating him so he is not accepting and he's, he feels that he was so wise that uh, this uh, cheating has not taken place because he is great person there later when he goes to salpin jago's house betty comes there then he understood when he saw in the car the both the symbols then he understood and he was asking about the salpin jago's appearance when the son was not able to say because we are, he was telling about uh, the thing what he had seen before a week but later the mother went to a uh, hair stylist and changed the hair style and so this was also a a guess and this guess all was made wrong by betty because before a week his mother was like that later in that week she had changed her uh, uh style and other thing so the reason for uh, misunderstanding is this and philip slather by understood very clearly this fellow is cheating but later he comes to know it was not he was not a cheater he was talking only the truth so it is very clear children shall we move to the lesson okay okay so here how observant to you individually try the spot as many difference as possible in the 5 minutes if you have spotted less than 5 then you are really need to improve your observation skill just to save yourself from the being misled so here you can see uh, the thing okay so you have to guess it rightly okay it is like a story here is an amusing story that describes how a man who consider himself very smart and observant finally finds that he had mistaken the genuinely of a standard youth character in the story philip is the boy a man who aspires to become a politician and mrs solpen jago a rich and influential lady of high rank and he is a mother of betty betty son of mrs solpen jago claro people kesi a friend of slither by so these four characters were in this story let us see how it is okay philip slither by settled himself down in an almost empty railway carriage with a pleasant consciousness of being embarked on an agreeable and for to a profitable pilgrimage he was bound for brilmanro the country residence of his newly achieved acquaintance mrs solpen jago honoria solpen jago was a person of some social importance in london of considerable importance and influence in the country of chukshare the country of chukshare or at any rate the eastern division of it was of immediate personal interest to philips leather by it was so philips leather by just goes to a uh, london to meet a very important person who was publicly and politically influenced so she knows many political uh, leaders and other things and she can change the political uh, of uh, chakshare so as he want to be a mp of that chakshare place so he want to meet and get the profitable done by solpen jago so if she consider him he will become a mp of that place so he want to meet her so he is just on a train So while he was traveling, he meets a person. L for government in the present parliament by a gentleman who did not intend to seek re-election, and Slatherby was under serious consideration by the party managers as his possible successor, and with luck, the seat might be held. The Sal Jacko Jacko. influence was not an item which could be left fell left out of the consideration and the political aspirant had been delighted at the meeting honorary at a small and friendly luncheon party still more gratified when she had asked him down to her country house for the following friday to tuesday 
he was obviously on approval and if he could secure the good will of his hostess he might count on her nominating him as a assured thing if he failed to find favor in her eyes well the local leaders would probably cool off in a, their embryo enthusiasm for him so it is very clear why sledabai is going to london to meet sol penjago the reason is he want to become a mp of chakshir and this reason made him to go to the place and when he is going and finding a favor in the eyes of this woman named solpen jago he will be considered as a mp of that place if he had not been favored by her then some other party will be just getting it so he is just going to get a favor because she had given a appointment for them tuesday to friday so he is just going to the place london and to go to london he is just traveling in train while he was traveling he is supposed to meet a person among the passengers dotted about on the platform waiting their respective train sledabai espied a club acquaintance and called him up to the carriage window for a chat he is calling his friend kesi to have a chat till the train moves so he also just coming Oh, you are staying with Mrs. Sal Penjago for a weekend, are you? I expect you all have a good time. She has the reputation of being an excellent hostess. She will be useful to you too. If that parliamentary project, hello, you are off. Goodbye. So now, friend says that he is going on this for uh, meeting a uh, Sal Penjago for. getting a recommendation to be amp for chakshir is place to be amp so in that town or in that place you want to become an amp so he need a favor of salpan jago so salpan jago was a woman who is having influential of all the politicians so she can make if he gets a favor she will make him as a mp so this makes him and this is a purpose of the meeting of her and he is just going on the train and he wishes his friend also wishes sledder by waved goodbye to his friend pulled up the window and turned his attention to the magazine lying on his lap he had scarcely glanced at a couple of pages however when a smothered curse caused him to glance askly at the only other occupant of the carriage his traveling companion was a young man of about 2 and 20 with dark hair fresh complexion and the blend of smartness and disarray that marks the costume of nut who is bound on a rustic holiday he was engaged in searching furiously and ineffectually for some elusive or non existent object from time to time he dug a six penny bit out of a waistcoat pocket and stared at it ruefully then recommended the futile search operation a cigarette case a match box a latch key silver pencil case and railway ticket were turned out on the seat beside him but none of this article seemed to be afford him satisfaction he cursed again rather louder than before the vigorous pantomime did not drop forth any remark from sledabai who resumed the security of the magazine so here sledabai was just having a magazine in his hand he is having on his lap and he just gets and reads on it and he just turns the pages and just reading it while he was reading he found that something was there a person was there and he was just just making a shout or murmuring to himself in a louder way and he is searching something and when he was searching in his pocket he was just taking so many things so he was just taking a searching furiously and ineffectually for some elusive or non existence so you need something and he was searching in his pocket he found and he was just searching he got only a cigarette case match box latch key 
silver pencil case and railway ticket were turned out on the seat beside him but none of this article seemed to be needed for him so he had taken so many things but none of these was needed for him he was searching something very important and he was again cursing he was again cursing and he was searching and let us see in the next part what he is searching and uh, let us see what it is okay children we'll stop here this is part 1 and we'll continue in the part 2 we'll see in that to receive our online lessons please press the subscribe button and you will receive the latest updates thank you children